Hello and welcome back to the next chapter of my PLC basic course. In the previous video we connected our computer and the PLC using a network cable. We assigned the devices a static IP address within the same subnet. After that we were able to load the project into the controller. We connected to the PLC online and were able to start it. The device is now in run mode and we are ready for the next step. This video is going to be incredibly exciting. We will test our training system together and monitor the program live. I hope you are just as excited as I am. Let's not waste any time and get started. Off we go into the TIA portal. Our PLC is error free as indicated by this green check mark. The program on my computer and the one in the PLC are identical which you can see from this green circle. Additionally, my controller is in run mode as shown by this green square. Next I want to monitor my program live. To do this we need to click on the symbol with the glasses. The moment has finally arrived. I am going to press the button on our training system and you can watch the program in action. Excellent, this is exactly how we planned it. Input I0.0 .0 controls output Q0.0. .0. Next I will switch the programming language to FBD. The color of the circle next to OB1 has now changed. The TI portal uses a symbol to indicate that the offline project on your computer is different from the online project in the PLC. If this happens you won't be able to monitor the program. You will need to download it again. In this case it's enough to only load the OB1 into the device. So I will now select the organization block and click on download to device. We are already connected to the controller online. For this reason the loading process is a bit faster than in the previous video. I have now transferred the new program to the controller and we can test it as well. Perfect, the program in FBD also works well. Next we will test the final programming language which is SCL. Wonderful! Our training system also works perfectly in SCL. 
monitoring programs in text-based languages can be a bit more challenging. That's why graphical programming languages are especially popular with beginners. They are, in my opinion, easier to read and understand. Thank you so much for learning PLC programming with me. If you want to take your skills to the next level, visit my website. Join my full online course and start your journey as a PLC programmer. I would love to have you on board. All right, everyone. I have switched the programming language back to Ladder. Now I want to quickly show you a few more things. For that, let's navigate to the Watch and Force Tables tab. I am now creating a so-called watch table. This is a very useful tool for troubleshooting in more complex programs. In a watch table, we can add different values and monitor them all in one place. This is especially useful when the values you want to observe are located in different networks or blocks. I will now add our input and output to the watch table. After that, we will monitor them. All right. With this symbol, I can split the tier portal screen. This allows us to view the program and the watch table at the same time. You use watch tables whenever you want to monitor multiple values on a single easy to read page. In our case, it is not necessary yet, but I wanted to show you this feature in advance. Force tables allow you to manually override values such as PLC inputs. We will cover this topic in more detail in a later chapter. If you want, you can grab any window and place them on a different screen, for example. For efficient work with TI Portal, I recommend using at least two monitors. At the end of this video, I want to show you another important feature in the TI Portal. Give me a few seconds to set it up. Welcome back. As you can clearly see, our PLC has an error. At the end of this video, I want to show you how to identify and resolve such errors. To do this, navigate to the diagnostic buffer of your controller. You can access it by double-clicking on this symbol. In the diagnostic buffer, you will find a plain text error description. It seems that the configured hardware module is missing. Below the description, you will see a suggestion on how to resolve the issue. By clicking on Open an Editor, you will be taken directly to the root of the error. Aha, I see the issue here. I have configured an expansion module that doesn't actually exist. The TA portal detected this and responded with a corresponding fault. I will now remove the module, transfer the complete project again and check the result. All right, everything is now working as it should. Our PLC is error-free and in run mode with the online and offline projects perfectly synchronized. 
With this beautiful site, I will end this video. But there is so much more to explore in the TA portal. Stay tuned for the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are excited to dive deeper into PLC programming, visit my website at plccoach.com. See you in the next video.